Imagine creating a complete power app solution, Canvas app and model-driven app in just seconds. No coding, no stress. Just type a prompt and AI does the rest. Your app, your way, powered by generative AI. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I came up with a new topic. In this video, I will show you how to create power apps quickly in a few seconds with the help of generative AI. If you log into your make.powerapps.com portal, you may notice that there is a new feature called Let's Make a Plan. This feature uses generating AI. So with the help of this plans AI feature, we can create a complete package of power app solutions in just a few seconds, which will have all the objects of the solution, like apps, dataverse tables, power automate flows, and many more. You just need to pass a prompt and everything will be created automatically. So let's get started. Here you can see a couple of out of the box prompts are available. You can select any of them, or you can pass your custom prompt. We have these out of the box prompts like, I need my staff to check out equipment and be notified of due dates. Employees need to log vacation hours. And my team needs a solution for tracking projects across the company. So as of now, there are three prompts here. I'll just go with this. Employees need to log vacation hours prompt for this demo. However, you can pass your own prompt as well. Click on this generate button. Now all the magic will happen. You just keep noticing your app solution will be created automatically and you don't need to write any coding. Let's click on this generate button. Then it starts processing your plan. It processes in three steps collecting user requirements, creating data models, and defining technology, and then creating a solution. This is the use case flowchart. You just see you don't need to do anything. Here the business problem is employees need to log in vacation hours. And purpose of this plan is, this plan serves as a blueprint for addressing the business problem described above. Outlining the user requirements data model technology that will be used to get the things done. So one by one, all business problems and related objects will be created automatically. Now you need to read the user requirements proposals. User requirements agent generated the user. Requirements sections. How does it look like? You can review this AI generated user requirement section for this employee vacation log hours use case. There are two roles in this use case, employee and HR manager. A person is an employee who logs their vacation hours. As a user, I need to log my vacation hours so that my time is accurately recorded. Edit or update my vacation entries so that my records stay accurate. Receive notifications when my vacation request is approved or adjusted so that I am informed of changes. Then comes the HR manager role. An HR manager is a person who oversees and manages employees' vacation records. As an HR manager, I need to review and approve employee vacation hour submissions so that company policies are followed, view and analyze vacation hour usage across employees so that I can ensure adequate staffing, adjust log vacation hours if needed so that records stay correct. See, I just passed the simple prompt about how an employee can log their vacation hours. And automatically my requirement is created role-wise. One is an employee and another one as an HR manager. After reviewing, you will get an option about whether you want to refine this and update it or we'll go ahead with the AI generated proposals. I'll click on the looks good. Then it's going to create data model the tables that will be used to store and provide information. This data model process will create a couple of Dataverse tables. The employee table contains records of employee information. The vacation log table contains records of vacation hours logged by employees. The vacation status table contains possible statuses for vacation requests. So basically there are three tables that will be created in the Dataverse for this use case. Here, also, I am being asked to review this data model proposal. Do you want to change or do you want to go ahead with this proposal? I clicked on the looks good option. 
Then it came to the technology section setup, where the apps, flows, and other objects will be used to solve the business problem. So as of now, we understood how the user requirements section works and how the data model section works. Now, we will understand about the technology section. In the technology section, we will have the apps, flows, and other objects that will be used to solve the business problem. Here we got a Canvas app vacation hours portal. This Canvas app allows employees to log, view, and update their vacation hours with notifications for approval or adjustments. You can hover over the user roles and data tables from here. Then we got a vacation review center model-driven app. This is for HR managers to review, approve, analyze, and adjust employee vacation logs, ensuring policy compliance and accurate records. So here we have one Canvas app and one model-driven app. Here we can convert a Canvas app to a model-driven app and a model-driven app to a Canvas app. In this menu, other features are create, replace with existing, and remove from plan. The model-driven app, the Vacation Review Center works in the reverse way. I mean, we can convert this model-driven app to a Canvas app and the other action menus are the same as the above one. As you can see, we can convert this model-driven app to a Canvas app and the other options are the same as above. Then we got the Vacation Approval Notifier Power Automate Flow. It sends notifications to employees when vacation requests are approved or adjusted, so they stay informed of status changes. We can create a new flow, replace it with an existing one, and remove it from this plan. Then we got the Vacation Hours Insights Report. It provides HR managers with analytics on vacation hour usage, supporting staffing analysis and absence trends. So this is about the technology section. Now that it has been asked to review it, you can go ahead or edit it. So let's click on this looks good option. Now the solution file is being created. So now it is time to start creating objects, but before you do, you need to save the plan first. Let's save this plan. What do you want to save the things? Select save items to a new solution. You can name your solution. I'm going with the default solution name, Employee Vacation Logger. Now let's go to the Solutions Gallery. We can see the Employee Vacation Logger solution just got created. We can see the status message. Your tables have been saved. To create and customize an object, just hover over it and select Create. Now what I'll do is, I'll just open this. Vacation Hours Canvas app and play this app. This takes a couple of seconds to get ready. My Vacation Hours Canvas app is loaded with a welcome screen. In this welcome screen we have the Employees Management Module, the Vacation Logs Module, and the Vacation Statuses Module. I'll just run this app and you will see the app in runtime. This is the employee management screen where you can see the employee details. Here you can add a new employee, edit an existing employee, and delete an existing employee. You can see I am adding sample employee details for this demo. This is just a demo. This is not a real employee. I'll just add it here. See, it's got added. I can delete it as well. Now I can edit it. I'll just change this higher date and save it. Let me delete this record. Yes, it got deleted. Then we got the vacation logs module here. This table contains records of vacation hours logged by employees. So this screen is for employee management details. This is for vacation log details we have. So these are the Vacations details already we have here. We can create new vacation details. We can edit existing vacation details and we can delete existing vacation details from here. You can see how I am creating a new vacation details. Just entering a dummy vacation details record. Enter vacation hours 
and select an employee. Set the status. We can edit the vacation details as well from this module. We can delete the vacation log details as well from here, right? So this is all about the vacation log hours module. Now let's go to the vacation statuses module. I could see the report grouped by vacation status. Like rejected, approved, and pending. Here also you can add a new status, edit an existing status, and delete the existing status. This table maintains the vacation status details. This is all about this vacation statuses module. Now I'll show you the solution file structure. Here you can see the plan's new object along with other as usual Power Platform objects. You can open your plan from here and edit the plan. It will take us from where we started this demo. We could see that with the generative AI plans feature in Power Apps, we can create a complete, ready to use app solution without writing a single line of code. This is how we can boost our productivity. And rapidly, we can develop a power platform based solution. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this demo and learned something new. If you found this helpful, I truly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for more valuable content on Power Platform, Copilot, Power Automate, SharePoint, and a Microsoft 365. Don't forget to like and share so others can benefit too. See you in the next video.